Hey everyone, it's Colin here to each other. Today we have a 2020 Thor Outlaw Motor Coach, and we're gonna be doing a test fit of the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack. Now this is a hanging style bike rack, so it's going to hold your bikes at the top tube right here. We're gonna have a strap on the top tube towards the handlebars. Another strap's gonna come over the top. We'll show you how to get that installed. You just bring it over the top of the tube. And basically when you pull it down, you wanna make sure it's secure. So this hole matches the notch right here. However, just to make sure we get it secure, we're gonna pull it and expand it and goes right over that notch right there. So those are gonna be the two points of contact on top. The third point is gonna be on the seat post tube down here, and that's gonna be the anti-sway cradle. Now, once we have that secure, that's going to help prevent a lot of the unnecessary movement from our bike. It's gonna help prevent a lot of bike-to-bike -bike contact and bike-to-vehicle contact. Now let's go ahead and take our bike off so we can have a closer look at the bike rack. Now when taking it off, all we gotta do is pull it down, comes right up. We'll do the same for the other two straps. And now we can remove the bike. Just like that. And we'll set it to the side for now. Now we'll go ahead and just replace the straps while we're at it. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, you are gonna have added length to your vehicle. In the case of our Outlaw, we're gonna measure from the back of it to the outermost part of our bike rack. It's about 45 inches we've added onto the back of our vehicle. Now with the hitch we have on here, it does account for about six or seven of those inches with how far it comes out. If you don't have that hitch on your Outlaw and it comes closer to the edge of the motor coach then you'll be able then that'll be a little bit less length added on now we can cut down on that length by folding down the arms of our hitching pros how we're going to do that we got a snapper pin and clip right here we're just going to pull that and pull it out and then we can fold the arms down like so and we'll replace the pin make sure you get that clip on as well now if we measure again, bumper to the outermost point, it's gonna be exactly 24 inches, so two feet. So we cut down on that space a lot. That's something you wanna keep in mind for any close quarter situations. Now obviously with the RV, with how long it's going to be, that may be a minuscule amount, but it could make the difference if you're trying to park in a tight spot. Now we do have a tilt away feature on our bike rack. And this bike rack, even though it is motorhome improved, you can still use it for your vehicle. So let's say you get to your destination, maybe you brought a vehicle with you. You're gonna be able to throw this on the vehicle if you wanna take your bikes up the mountain or up through the trails, then you don't have to drag the outlaw with you. So we'll show you the tilt away feature. It could even come in handy if you have a spare tire mounted to the back you need access to. We'll just pull this pin and clip, let it tilt away. You see right there, plenty of space over here to grab any you know uh, anything mounted to the back of our outlaw and like i said if you have another vehicle with a hatch you'll be able to open up that hatch almost the almost with any vehicle now we'll tilt it back up we'll just pull it and then replace the pin now let's come out and see how it attaches to our hitch we're gonna have a two inch by two inch hitch receiver on the outlaw but if you have another vehicle where you want to use this hitching post pro for you can remove that sleeve if it has an inch and a quarter hitch and that'll make the shank compatible with that hitch otherwise you can leave it on if you have a vehicle with a two inch receiver we have an anti-rattle bolt right here we tighten that down takes away the shake and play from our hitching post that's going to be handy for taking out all the shake and play for when we're traveling in those long road trips you might be taking with your motor coach now, thank you all for watching. That's going to do it for our test fit of the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack on a 2020 Thor Outlaw Motor Coach. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.